Democratic representative Pramila Jayapal, who is the caucus chair of the Progressive Caucus, caucus within the Democratic Caucus, has tested positive for COVID-19. And she blames Republicans for this, not surprisingly and probably not incorrectly, considering that a lot of Republicans refuse to wear masks as a ploy to continue to downplay the danger from COVID-19, similarly to the German AfD, since I don't know why, but the far right has apparently decided that they don't have to take a deadly pandemic seriously at all, for some political reasons, at least in Germany, it's understandable that they kind of not take it seriously because the entire brand is contra being contrary to the German government. In the United States, it, it is a little bit harder to justify considering that they are the goddamn government, or at least used to be. Now they aren't anymore, but they ran the executive branch and one of the houses of the legislature, and they still own the judiciary. Um, to play the contrarian there is a little bit silly, but they still decided to do it, probably because the Republican Party a very long time ago decided to screw signs and not take anything seriously anymore, what any scientist tells them. Like, well, that, um, this is not just the flu, it's highly uh, infectious, and there are certain strengths of the virus that are even more infectious and some that are also more deadly. Plus, even those that aren't that deadly can lead to serious side effects that are lasting. Uh, the Republicans don't care, so they endangered their colleagues. And this is not the first time something like that happened in Pennsylvania. Republicans who knew they were positive still went to work in the state uh, congress and endangered their colleagues. And also on the federal level you had somebody like Rand Paul, who's a goddamn physician, who had symptoms, who had, or who had been tested, and whilst waiting for the test, didn't isolate and instead used the congressional gym and swimming pool, endangering his colleagues, including his Republican colleagues. These people don't care about human lives. Not their own, not others, not at all. There are now 4,000 Americans dying each day. More than 1-9-11 a day is dead. And there is just nothing to say anymore. This party is dangerous and all the calls to get as many of them out of office for inciting the violence in the capital for supporting Trump are justified and a good thing. This entire party has to go. And everybody who downplays the danger, continues to downplay the dangers of the Republican Party, like the liberals, but also reactionary edgelord leftists, need to shut up and finally come to their senses that these people don't give a shit if you live or die. So when are you going to stop defending them?